Hello everyone, welcome to Malkith Academy. So in the previous video, we have uh, learned that how to create custom policies for messaging. So in this video, we are going to cover our next uh, policy that is calling policy. So we are going to create a custom policy for calling in Microsoft Teams. For doing that, you have to open up your Teams Admin Center and I have also provided a link in the description box to access this Teams admin from there or either you can open up your Microsoft 365 admin center and uh, come here at the bottom admin center and click on Teams admin center or you can click here for all admin centers so click on this Teams admin center once opened up uh, you have to go to the, your here at the bottom you can see here it is written voice so we are creating calling policies click here and uh, come a little bit down here as you can see here it is written calling policies so click on that so when you click on this calling policies again same uh, window will appear for all the messaging or chatting or meeting policies it will show you that uh, what are different uh, policies are assigned to your organization so as you can as on the screen you can see global org wide allow calling disallow calling but we are creating our own custom policy so for that you have to click on this add button so after after clicking on add button here it, you have to write down the name of your policy so i am writing edu no private calling and uh, coming to this these settings so make private calls definitely no so we do not want that our users are students are uh, making private calls and call forwarding definitely off call forwarding and simultaneously ringing to external phone numbers definitely off and uh, as you can see that i am disabling each and everything from this because i don't want that uh, students are creating a mess in my organization by creating their own private groups for calling and other things so in band call calls can be routed to all groups turning it off and off for all allow de delegation for inbound output calls and uh, here it is already off and allow web pstn pstn means private switch telephone network so we do not allow, allow that so turning it off so as you see that i turned each and everything off because uh, i don't want anyone calling to anyone so click on save and you can do your own settings and uh, depending upon your requirements you can do certain things on or off so once it's created this edu no private calling is created now again i have uh, discussed all these things in the previous video that how to sign all these uh, custom created policies to the users so again i'm telling you this click on this users and uh, select uh, any uh, users from that list or you can also filter them out apply any filter here and uh, if you want to apply more than uh, one person but remember again this teams admin panel will only allow you to uh, apply this policy for maximum 20 users so not more than 20 so this is a uh, so quite hard if you have a very large organization so for that you have to write scripts in powershell so i am selecting only four students and uh, i'm applying this custom made calling policies to them one thing uh, guys that you can apply all the custom policies at one go so i am doing one by one because uh, i'm showing that uh, how you can create policy and assign to user once you created all the custom policies you can assign all these policies in one go so no need to create one policy and then come here to apply to the user user so as you can see you can apply all the custom policy directly from here at one go but before that you have to create all the policies and different policies so i have created this calling policy so no edu no private calling so once i uh, assigned all the meeting policies messaging policies and calling policies to the to these selected users click on apply and it will be applied to all these users and now these uh, four users are not allowed to do private callings in the organization so for verification as on the screen i have signed in through this adam uh, user id and password so <clears throat> here you can see that this student is not able to create their own teams because we have disabled it we have created a custom policy for this team in powershell 
or you can also create this uh, policy in uh, teams admin panel too and uh, we also have uh, made the policy that the student cannot create their own private meetings so as you as you can see this uh, cross sign on you don't have permissions to create private meetings so we have also done that and one thing you can see that in the navigation pane the calling icon is not there anymore and now this student is uh, also uh, restricted from creating private calls uh, within the organization so that is all so i hope that you find this video helpful for you and see you in next video thanks a lot